So here's Camila Georgie showing us two really important concepts on a topspin forehand. Now, first, this video is courtesy of 12K GP Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I put their link in the description below. All right, let's go back to this forehand right here. Now, if we look right here, notice her strings are tilted down. You have to get your strings tilted down. It's called closing the racket face prior to hitting the ball. And you need to do this below contact. So if we go to contact, we actually cannot see contact. Contact is like right there. So let's draw a line where contact is. So the ball is dropping to that line. Notice the ball is above that yellow line and the racket is below the line. Now there is contact. That's her contact. Watch after contact. Look how her racket face is slightly closed. So she is swinging up. Watch her racket follow that red line, or it's even steeper than that. Let me redraw that because it's actually steeper. So she's going up, but the racket face is slightly closed. When you are hitting the ball you and hitting topspin, you need to feel like you are leading with the top edge of the racket. So I always said that tennis is an edge sport. She's leading with the top edge of the racket as she's striking the ball. The second thing I want you to notice is this high finish. Look how she's catching the racket in her non-hitting hand. She doesn't always do that, but as recreational players, you should actually hit the ball the way the pros do in practice, not necessarily the way they hit the ball in a match. So here you can see the racket face is closed again. Strings are pointing down. She's below the ball. And watch. Here her racket's closed. There her racket. That's just a perfect view. Strings are slightly closed as she's going up. That's what's going to impart topspin on the ball. And then watch her high finish again. She's catching the racket. Her, It's almost like she's listening to her watch. You have to make sure that you close your racket face prior to hitting the ball. And then as you're hitting that, you feel like your racket face is ever so slightly closed. This is the way to hit consistent forehands and consistent topspin. Now, the best way to practice these techniques is at home with a Topspin Pro. You can get a Topspin Pro using my link in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. I absolutely love the Topspin Pro, and I know you will too. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court. And it's playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. So two main ideas. You've got to close the racket face prior to contact. Get your strings to tilt down when you're below the ball. And as you're swinging, you then keep your strings down. And right here is the perfect view of it. Her strings were tilted down prior to hitting the ball, during the contact, which we cannot see, and then after contact. Make sure the strings are tilted down as you're swinging up. And then finish high. You do this, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.